dear friends and all the listeners across the world greetings in the precious name of jesus today our meditation is on everlasting gospel what is the speciality of everlasting gospel is it different from the gospel we have been preaching no there are there is the foundation and there is the uprising building so from the book of genesis down to revelation we come across with the statutes and the nature of almighty god we come across with the important 10 commandments in the book of exodus 20th chapter 2 to 17 we come across with the holy sabbath in the second chapter 1 to 3 of genesis we come across with the holy matrimony in the second chapter of seven the words on words of genesis we come across with the sanctuary doctrine in the book of leviticus the 23rd chapter 22nd chapter and also other chapters besides daniel the 8:14 and daniel's the prophecies of daniel and 2800 years days then shall the sanctuary be cleansed a cleansing of the sanctuary we come across with the 10 plagues in the book of exodus we come across with the seven last plagues in the 16th chapter of revelation we come across with the establishment of new earth and new jerusalem in 21st and 22nd chapters of revelation we come across with the seven churches and the seven trumpets in the book of revelation 1 2 3 and 6 and 7 chapter we come across with the very important message of the three angels message in 14th chapter of revelation 6 to 13 what is our lasting gospel in revelation 14:6 it says revelation 14:6 i saw another angel flying across the world and i saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that to dwell on the earth and to every nation and the kindred and tongue and the people saying with a loud voice so the everlasting gospel has to go from one end to the other end of the universe it is a universal message this is not limited to any ethnicity any parochial regions it has to cover the whole world all the countries all the islands all the plains and all even unknown territories it has to enter into all the habitational regions of men and women this message has to reach all ethnicities all language groups all tribes there is no partiality with god god is a great god of compassion and great awesome love he imparts his compassion he imparts his empathy and sympathy and love and sacrifice for the entire nations no people is accepted what a wonderful what an awesome god we are serving is a god of the yesterday of today and tomorrow is an omniscient omnipotent and omnipresent god says 
this everlasting gospel has to reach from one end to the other end of the universe seven the words that is the message saying with a loud voice fear god and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come two important aspects the judgment is come the investigative judgment is started hence the command to fear god who is the creator of the universe that the creatorship is recognized in exodus 20th chapter 8 to 11 remember the sabbath day to keep it holy for in six days thou shalt labor labor and do all your work but the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord thy god in it you neither your son nor your daughter nor your man servant or maid servant nor your cattle or the stranger in your home should do any work because the lord god has blessed and sanctified the sabbath day the holy sabbath is so important the holy sabbath is so vital my dear friends the everlasting gospel consists of two important one the worship of the creator god that is worshiping the lord on the holy sabbath day Ezekiel 20th chapter verse 12 and 20 there is a sign between God and man that is the holy sabbath Genesis 2 1 to 3 says the Lord God created the heavens and the earth and all that in them and he blessed and rested on the sabbath day blessed and sanctified it the Lord of the sabbath is a God of sanctification the God of justification. What do you have to do? You have to discern that God. Jesus is called the Lord of the Sabbath in Mark 2, 27 and 28. The Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. The Sabbath is going to be a testing point to the entire world. Whether one should accede and consent to the Holy Sabbath and observe the Sabbath or one should deny the Sabbath in that two important phenomenal decisions, the whole universe's judgment is dependent upon. The judgment is dependent upon whether you will worship God or whether you will follow satan and his angels and his allied powers the false prophet and the beast a very cardinal decision for the mankind as the pandemic covid 19 is enraging the whole world and people are panicking regarding vaccination of mass sanitizers and innumerable other preventive steps the word of god says there is going to be uh, there has to be a positive or negative decision that the decision to worship on the holy sabbath or worship satan and thereby his established pseudo sabbath sunday system it is going to be a universal controversy in which every individual has to individually take a decision either for god or against god the number 666 is going to really indicate whether you, you are going to receive the mark of the beast, the number is 666, or the seal of God, the Holy Sabbath. So important. The second point is investigative judgment. In the Holy of Holies, 
Jesus has entered into the most holy place of the sanctuary and started pleading on behalf of the erring humanity. Humanity is at odd ends and they are going to be lost. The decision is yours today whether you will uphold Jesus Christ or you will be followers and upholding satan and his angels and his allied powers the false prophet the world today is darkened by the satanic forces and it is deeply in gross darkness as prophet isaiah says the people and the nations are in darkness they are in materialistic thinking they are heaping up things they are exalting on the digital and the scientific advancements and ending up in tragedy my dear friends at a prime time like this when the corona virus is super flows in the world and the people's minds are bogged up by satanic forces Jesus gives the proclamation of deliverance completely deliverance is possible only in Jesus Christ the whole nations the leaders and the ordinary people alike how to repent of your sins and accept Jesus as your personal savior and start to keeping the holy sabbath in order for the victory of your personal life it is so important the precious blood of jesus is shed on the cross of calvary for the entire erring humanity the iniquitous nations and the people at large they are atheistic they are revolutionary thinkings their false propagations their allegiance to satan is all to be abandoned the black magic and the sunday system and the idol worship they are all thriving today instead of that the holy sabbath and the institution of pure marriage reinstitution in statement and the worship of the true god and understand that is the everlasting gospel the time has come my dear friends to decide whether you will be true worshipper accepting and conceding to the everlasting gospel the hour of the judgment is come so worship the creator of the universe or whether you will consent to human traditions and pseudo worship and end up in tragedy and hell may you decide for jesus and the heaven is my prayer let us pray our mighty god everlasting father may the whole listeners be attracted by the holy spirit and touched by the anointed by him so that they may take a decision for jesus and to reestablish the holy sabbath worship throughout the world in the villages and towns and islands in jesus precious name amen dr j t to r atogram sabandhi advance mission center marari kulam 688523 alp kerala south india you can put your questions and doubts in the following whatsapp or email id whatsapp number 9186063774 email taratukulam@gmail.com